Hi, my name's Tom and I work for The Entertainer and I'm going to be showing you how to make a Despicable Me Minion. Okay, so this is how your finished Minion will look. Um, this is a great design for that sort of intermediate sort of advanced sort of loomers. Okay, so to make this you will need blue bands, yellow bands, got some white bands for the eyes and some black bands as well. You also need an S-clip, a hook, I've chosen a metal one because the amount of bands that you will be using, you need the metal one for just a bit more sturdiness, and a loom base. To start off, to make your minion, you need to do the arms. You're taking your yellow bands and using just the one row of hooks. Uh, for this one, I'll be using, because um, their arms are sort of quite long in comparison to the legs, so I'll be using five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five gaps between them, which is six pegs. You simply place it onto the two pegs and then you double it up. Like that, so it's double. The reason for this is that when you do put the arm all together, it just makes it a bit smaller and a bit tighter on there. So now I've done that first one, I then get my second yellow band and place it around the next two. And then once again, give it a stretch and Double it round, and then again, the two, stretch, and double it round. So you can start to see making this sort of zigzag pattern going down. So I'll take the next one, just make sure you give them just a bit of a push down because you don't want to get them mixed up. You go down to the last one. So when you are trying to do them, just be careful not to stretch them too much. You do have a chance of actually snapping them. Okay, so then when you get down to the last one, you then take black band. I'll see this will then form the glove. You simply place it on the last one. You then wrap it round. Oops. And wrap it round once, twice. So when you're looking at it, you should be able to see that there is three that have gone round three times. Yeah, the reason for putting on um, it's sometimes known as a capping band. The reason for that is that when you start pulling everything through, it then holds this bottom one in place. So once I've got in place now I then start to unhook it so you simply get your hook you go through the black one as you can see turn it around you grab the bottom yellow ones make sure you grab both of them and you just feed it through just be careful it doesn't pop off you might have to give it a bit of a wiggle just get make sure it comes off so whoop. So you need to take your hook, place it down in the middle, grab both the yellow bands, pull them up, get it to come through, a bit of a wiggle, and then you simply fold it over itself. Make sure you get both the bands going round. When I see both the bands, I mean both the loops on it, because obviously it was doubled round bit of a push down so you can see you just start to get this little sort of teardrop and then do the same for this next one obviously it's easy now because you've got a bit more of a gap so hook down and then just feed it through hook it 
back on again. And same with the next one. If you just get a bit tight, just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Don't try and force it too much because that is what snaps a lot of the bands. Yeah, and you get to last one. Pull that through. Right. And then to finish it off, so when you take it off, it doesn't all come apart. Then get yourself another yellow one. You then put your hook going through the last band. You turn it round because I find it easier this way. Just to put the band on. So you just got to pull it up. And by turning it round, basically means you don't catch it on the outer band. Give it another turn so the hook's facing upwards. And then you just simply hook it back through itself, last bit onto the hook. So once it's on like that, you can simply just pull each one off. There you go. And you can see, so that's the arm. So this would be the shoulder, and then the black bit would be the hand. Okay, you then need to repeat that again for the other arm. So what I'll do. You can just simply move the hand up on the hook, so just keep it on place, and then you can start doing the next one. Okay, so we'll be doing the, the other arm. So once again, taking yellow bands, twist them round, make a double. This is a different sort of way of doing it. So I've got the one, two, three, four, five, so the five gaps. And we'll simply place bands on. Okay. So if you ever get confused which way to actually put bands on, for the process obviously with the arm, um, it was unhooking it. It's always best to have the unhooking way. So you actually have the hole here to put the loom down. It's easy to go down and grab bands and pull them up through. So I'll explain that again once I've actually got the, got the bands on. So once again. Double the band round, place it in the loom, Make sure they're all pushed down. And then once again, as you can sort of see, it's in that sort of stair motion, going all the way down. Then simply grab the black one, which is obviously going to be the glove. Wrap it round three times. So you have, so you can see the band on there, wrap around three times. Okay. So I'll take it around this way. So this is what I was saying about if you have it, so you have a little curve here, it looks like a little lowercase n. Um, so you know you can always put down, hook down between it to grab the bands and pull them up and work them upwards. It's a lot easier doing this way. You can do it the other way, but it's, it's really tricky. So you simply go between the black ones, them out the way, grab the yellow ones, make sure you get both of them. Just give it a quick feed off there. Make sure that black one doesn't follow suit. There we go. A bit of a wiggle. Okay, right. What's happened here is that my band has snapped. So I can show you what to do if you do have that. Okay, so as I can tell, it's this band here. So I can simply take the black one off, get rid of the broken one, get another yellow one. Twist it, put it back into place. There you go, and then you can simply just place the black one back on again. Okay. 
One, two, three. So obviously you get coming off so he does how you can use your fingers just to help prop down black bands. A bit of a tricky one today. There you go, so just leave my finger on the top there to stop that black one from coming off. Let's hook it. The next peg and go down in the middle again. So, like I said, so where you've got this gap, it's easy to just go down, grab the bands, feed them off, a bit of a wiggle, and then onto the next one. So, you can start to get this teardrop. Yeah, so once I've got all of them on there, I then take my yellow band, so you put the hook through, and then turn the hook, hook, hook so it faces downwards, place the band on it, just so when I pull it up I know it's not going to grip onto the other bands, give it a little bit of a turn, put it onto bands, and at which point I hold it in place, so I can simply just pull it off. Okay, so like I said you can leave it on the bat, um, on the hook but what I've done I've just simply grabbed another hook just so I can leave them on there just so they don't get in the way. You can use a, a pencil um, or anything else where you can just kind of leave them on um, or if you've got another base you can put it onto the base but obviously when we're making it we will be using the whole of the base so you can't use that. So there you go, so there's the two arms so you can wave <laughs> yeah, so now we're going to move on to the minion body. Um, you obviously you always start at the topmost point. Obviously, I'm having it facing this way, so it's easier for you to see. So this one. So basically, when it's facing you, so if this was facing me now. Obviously, here I'd have like a little N shape, and then we'd be working downwards. Obviously, to make it easier for you to follow, I'm having it the opposite way. So, of course, then I'll be working this way. Once again, the reason for this is that when you come to, because obviously all the bands will be going down the board, when you get to the end, it's got to unhook all the way back up again. So, obviously, having the little alcove sort of here is easier when hooking because you can simply just put the hook down there, grab the bands, and pull them through. Right, so you always start with the head. So, Start with this point, ignore these two, start straight on this one here. So for this one, using two bands, for the whole bit of the body now, it will be double bands. The reason for this is that it makes it a bit thicker um, and a lot more sturdier as well. So you start off with, um, it doesn't matter which way you start, if you go left or right, I'll head to my right, which will be your left. So you simply place two of them on here now and just push that down because this one will have quite a few bands on at the end. So start there. So then I'm going to head down this way now. Okay, so for the head, you usually go down about three, three or four bands, depending on kind of how big you want your little person to be, your minion. So obviously once again, two bands. Go down, place that here. Okay, so at the moment that's just two lots, so I'll do the third one now. There, so that is my third. Okay, so I know now that these three bands here will make part of the head. So from this point downwards, 
you're going to be going into the shoulder and the body part. For obviously the minions because they're quite short and the heads are sort of quite large in comparison, I'll go down another. Uh, I'll go down four. So I'll simply take um, two blue ones. The reason for that because obviously they're wearing overalls and obviously the straps going over the shoulders. So if I place that one there, so then I know this is the shoulder part. Obviously they've got a little gap next to them. So then I'll then do the next one in a yellow. So another two yellow bands on there. And then place another two on. Okay, and then to finish it off, I'll place on two blue ones. Okay, so I've gone down four bands. So we've got the shoulder, so sort of the torso and then sort of the bottom part of their overalls. Okay, I'll then do the same again, going down this side. There we go, so you have, so so far this is the outline of the minion. So you've got the head, going down for the head part, shoulders, body, and then the bottom part of the overalls. I'll then do the same again, going down the middle. Yeah, so just make sure, because obviously you're gonna be getting quite a few bands on this side, so you just gotta make sure that they are all staying away from each other just so when you come to the end to put them all through it's easy to tell what order they were on. So obviously this one will be the topmost part there. Right, so obviously with the middle part, because these two are going to be the straps of the overalls, I'm going to go down again with another yellow band. So obviously I've already used the three, which is going to be the head. And then go down again for the other one. And then I'll be finishing off by doing the rest with the blue bands. Then, yeah, so you finish off just one stagger down from when you finish at the hips. Okay, so from this point, I will then go down and do the legs onto here. Okay, so the legs will be in the blue. So I'll simply once again take in two bands. Place them on. Okay, and obviously for the legs, because they've got quite short legs, I'm only going to do the three. Okay, so once I've got three bits for the legs, I then take my black ones and these are going to form the boots. So then once again, just put a layer of black just on the bottom there. And then just like the arms, 
I will then simply put a band on, then I will wrap it round two, three times to make a capping band. So the same with the arms, that capping band should be formed of three rings from the one band. Okay, so I'll do the same again going down this one. Okay, so I'm just going to cap off this little bit in the middle here, just so when we do put them together, it doesn't all fall apart. So once again, for the capping one, you simply wrap it round three times. So I'm just trying to get that one. There we go. Okay, right. So this is what you should have so far so we've got the head shoulders torso and then the legs you should be able to see going down here once again they're going down like some steps what i probably advise to if you've got some of the bands on they do get a little bit tangled up it's usually your hawk and just kind of feed them just so they do separate out a little bit just so when you do end up when you sort of unfold everything at the end it just keeps it all just a little bit more neater So what I was doing there, obviously you can just see where they're twisted. I've just simply just been placing the, the hook kind of underneath to give it a bit of a bit of a wiggle, and that way just the bands will just fall into a line a bit, a bit easier then. Okay. Okay, so now that we have a body, we're going to be putting in the joining bands, which will then join all these rows together, just so when it all comes off, it stays together as one. Now this one you just need to make sure all the bands are pushed down. Obviously just make sure that they don't start crossing over. doesn't matter about the feet because the joining bands will not be placed on the feet. There we go, just make sure. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the head. So I'll be taking one yellow band, ignore the top ones here, and move down onto the second ones here. So obviously these are all going to go as triangles. So what you have to do is get your band twist it once again so to do the head so to do the head you just need to take one band you then move down so you ignore these first three move on to the second three so it'd be going on like a triangle and simply just place bands over all three so you can see it goes across as a triangle and then we will repeat this all the way down, obviously keeping in mind so you ignore the ones you've just done, place on the next. Okay. 
obviously if it's easier try to keep to the same colours that you are using So you stop just here. You don't need to put one in that one because that one will be coming up over so that will hold itself into place. Okay, so now that we've done that, we then bring back the arms. Also, you know we've got the shoulder piece here. Okay, so you can simply just move down your arms. If they are holding on enough, you can take the hook off. If they're not, leave the hook on. And you simply just stretch out bands and just place them over one of the pegs. And you just give it a bit of a bit of a move so it stays into place. And the same again. with the second one. Obviously if you place it onto a pencil you can simply take them off you can use your fingers as well but you just need to make sure that this other one doesn't come out loose so I'll hold on to it, place it on, bring it round, place the second one on. So there you have both your arms on. Okay, so now I've got the minion laid out. The next thing I'm going to do is the eye. So to do the eye, I'm going to use one black band, one white band. Now I'm going to go for the, the one-eyed minion. You can use two, and I'll show you the difference of how to make two of them, which you've done. Okay, so using your hook, and then place black band on. You then wrap it round four times so you have sort of like a bit of a like that so you've got that black bit there obviously that's going to form the pupil then you get your white band then place it on the other side and wrap it round twice you then pull it across wrap it round twice on the other side so as you can see this will create the white to the eyes and obviously the black there will be people in the middle and then to place this on then use yellow band now we'll admit this bit can be fiddly and it did take a bit of trying trying to get used to it but you simply got to place the band on give it just a loop round just to hold it in place and then use a finger just to hold it in you then have to push the eye up I'm going to switch that to that finger to make it easier. And then I found it easy if you pinch the bands, if you can, and then you've just got to simply lift them over. So I'll do it one at a time so you can see. So you simply just grab them and simply just unfold them and transfer them across. Give it a push down. Obviously for this minion, and then you can simply just unhook it and then hold on to it so you push it towards the middle. The eye of the minion uh, will be placed sort of just at the top two bands here. So I then place that one onto there and that one onto there so it goes across. And then you can use your hook or your finger just to give it a bit of a pull into the middle if you're able to. So it doesn't matter about kind of how, how it looks at the moment because once you've made it you can there we go, you can sort of adjust it round so you can see there that's the eye. If you do want to do two eyes all you've got to do is simply repeat this step twice and just have another one on the same band and then you simply just push them so there's a gap in the middle. Okay now we'll move on to the unhooking process. 
Okay, so now your minion is almost complete. You just have to go through the unhooking process. Now, as always, you always start with the lowest points, like I said at the beginning. This is where making sure that the pegs are in the right angle, facing the right way. So obviously you then turn it around to unhook sort of away from you. Obviously, if you at home, I'll be doing it this way so you can make it easier to follow. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. Um, I'm going to go for the right again, so you simply put your hook going down, grabbing the two bottom black bands off the shoe, you then pull it up, so making sure that the bands don't move over, maybe a bit of a wiggle, so I've just used a second hook there just to hold it in place because my fingers are quite big and it's not as easy to hold the stuff. Okay, so once again, a similar process to how you're making the arms. I'll be doing this all the way up. So, to the next leg. Obviously this is where having a metal hook come in handy. If you do find them getting a bit stuck, use your fingers or I'll be using a different hook. Just simply place underneath and just pull the band out slightly just to release the blue one because if you do put too much pressure on this is where they do snap. Okay, so I'll be moving all the way up. Okay, now with this one you've got to make sure that you go underneath because obviously you've got this linking band in the middle. You've got to make sure you go through the middle, so you go through the middle of all the bands and you pull the blue one up to make sure that it goes on the inside of the linking band. A bit of a wiggle just to get it out. Hook it onto there. So once it's hooked on, it's still attached to the linking band and this one here is still free because then that will hold it together just at the base here. So once again make sure you go on the inside of the linking band, pull up the yellow ones, put them through it, give it a bit of a wiggle. Obviously this is where some bands do get a bit stuck because as you can see there's a lot of bands now ending up in the same peg. Once you get to the arm, obviously you can see there are a lot of bands on this peg, so you've got to make sure you grab the right ones. So of course the ones that you're after are these two at the very bottom. So you've got to make sure you go down through all the bands and you hook just those two. And you pull them up. This is where using a second hook can come in handy just to help move the bands out of the way. Oops, what's that one? Yeah, so you give it a bit of a wiggle. You can just hook it onto yourself. If you've done it correctly, for the arm, you should be able to see that if you put it out like this, that the band itself is hooked on to itself. So you've got the gap there. If you've got that, then you've done it correctly. There 
and simply go in the middle we'll now give them a wiggle place them on so you've got to make sure so all the bands and that one has snaps
here yet, so I've now done the other side. So the two sides now should mirror each other. If they do, it means it's right so far. Then I'll be moving on to the middle part. Okay, so now I'm going to simply do up the middle part. Then once I've done that, you're almost finished. So it's the same process as we've been doing before whilst going up with these sides. So I'm going to simply just go through it. Now when you hit the eye part, you need to make sure it does come a bit more central. So I'm doing that, I'm just simply just feeding the band just through. Okay, so you need to make sure that when you're moving these bands up and over, that this sort of teardrop shape is going with the make sure that the eye stays in the middle of it. If you're using um, two eyes then you need to make sure that the eye stay either side of this middle band here. And then coming up to the last hook. To there. So that's it for the milking process. So you can start to see now all the minion is now all in place. Now to make sure the whole lot doesn't fall out of place at the end, um, you can get another yellow one or if you like to make a bit of tuft of hair, you can use a black one. I'll use a black one just so he's got a bit of hair sticking out on the top. And if I turn around this way to make it easier, you need to do the same process again like you did for the arms. Simply take the hook, go and make sure you go through every single band that's on this. If you want to make sure you have got them all, then you can simply just move the hook around the back. Give it a little bit of a pull out, not too much. And I can see by doing that, I've got one band left at the bottom there. So I just need to make sure I do have every single one in the hook which I now have you then place black band once again onto the hook and simply make sure you feed up through all of them and then hook it onto your hook so then something like that and then if you grab your S clip then simply just get your 
this glue can hook it through both of them. Once it's through both, it should be able to just remove your hook to leave that one on there. And then we'll go through the process now of taking the minion off the entire loom. Okay, so now that you've got this one on the end, so effectively this one keeps the whole thing together, as you can sort of see. Now this one is a very tricky one to get off because you've got lots and lots of bands on there. So I find it easy if you get the hook, hook it under and just simply lift off. There you go, and the same for all the others. So you just start moving your way down. It doesn't matter which order you take them off, but preferably you have to take them from the top down to the bottom. You can, you can give it a bit of a pull. So obviously it looks like a bit of a jumbled mess at the moment. So all you've got to do, if you want the eye to come through, simply move all bands across so you can get rid of the base. So I'll simply just move moving bands across to make sure that the eye is more dominant. Yeah, because obviously the eye's on its own band, so you can give it a bit of a, a bit of a pull out. If you do have a little bit sticking out like I have here, you can just simply just give it a bit of a move around and you can tuck that just behind. But obviously when we put the goggles on, then all this would be sort of tidied up at that point. Anyway. Okay, so obviously you've got your minion there. If you want to add a little bit more detail, like adding on the goggle straps, this is how I do it. So I'll simply be taking black band. Now this will be a little bit tricky. You just need to move the bands on your minion around so you can get to the under one so effectively you can pull the eye out like that okay so it's easy to start off with the hook on there if you do pull it out you can just simply feed it through the back end so I'll simply place it on place my hook back underneath to make sure that I have just the bands that the eye is on itself and then simply bring this down put it on you can then just fold it around, wrap it around, and then just put it round the head, and pull out your hook, give them all just a bit of a, a bit of move around. If you want the white a bit more dominant, you can just give that a bit of a Bit of a pull out, and there you have it your very own little minion. So, what loom creation can you come up with? Upload yours to our Facebook page for a chance to be featured on our website.